Assalamu alaikum and welcome. My name is JJ and in this video we're going to show you guys how to check the valve clearances and adjust the tappets on the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. I do have a first ride impression video done on this bike. I will leave that video linked uh, in the pinned comment down below. So we're going to start by removing the seat and then we're going to remove the fuel tank. It's fairly easy, just two bolts and then it's held on by two grommets at the front. Just wiggle it out. Uh, there will be five connections uh, connecting the fuel tank uh, so we're gonna have to remove each of them we have one and two already removed here and that's the third one uh, you'll find uh, you, you keep getting more and more access under the tank as you go along uh, there are tons of videos on how to remove the fuel tank so we're not gonna go into much detail here just remove the five connections that's the fourth one yeah, and then it's going to be the fuel line. Now, there will be some fuel left in the line, so it's better to keep a rag or something handy. It won't be much, but yeah, a few drops definitely will come out, so watch out for that. Okay, so now the fuel tank is completely disconnected. So you can go ahead and pop it off. So from here we're going to make uh, as much room as we can for when we uh, remove the actual rocker box cover. So we're going to remove the, the horns. And we're going to undo the bolts on this whole unit so that it can be lifted up when we get to removing the head cover. So obviously uh, we didn't film this part but you will need to remove the four bolts on the actual head cover now these bolts do make a seal so you're gonna have to make sure to put them back in the same order that you took them out uh, so be sure to mark them uh, we also didn't uh, film uh, removing the spark plugs but you're gonna have to do that so yeah from this point uh, you can gently finish uh, the rocker box cover off it will take some wiggling especially at the front there's some why is that you might need to push out of the way if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing uh, we post almost weekly motorcycle related videos but yeah gently just wiggle it off and then you have access to the tappets Now this gasket needs to be removed, uh, it will be stuck on uh, using some silicon sealant on this side. So yeah, be sure to be extra careful here, this gasket can be reused. Just prise it off, just directly upwards, very gently. The last thing you want to do is tear this up and have to wait for a replacement. Now with that gasket removed, uh, you'll be able to see the end of the camshaft. Uh, it has some markings on it and these are going to be vital. These marks will show the top dead center position for either side of the engine. It will be marked L for the left hand cylinder and R for the right hand cylinder. So you'll need to align uh, the respective mark to the end of the cylinder head uh, when you're working on that, si that particular side. So the recommended way to turn the camshaft to top dead position uh, would be to remove this little access port and turn the crankshaft. Uh, we did not have a 14 millimeter hex on hand and there has been some confusion and some contradictions regarding which way to turn the crank. So we decided to forego all of that and employ uh, something a little bit more old school. Uh, so what is the camshaft, the crankshaft, everything ultimately connected to? That's right, the rear wheel. So yeah, we decided to just spin the rear wheel and get the camshaft to top dead center position so to do it it's easier if the bike were in higher gear so pop it all the way to sixth and then just slowly turn the wheel forwards until the lines are aligned with the top line of the cylinder head 
So we're starting on the left side. So slowly we'll turn the wheel until it is completely aligned. So to check the valve clearances, you'll need a good set of uh, feeler gauges. And the given tolerances are uh, 0.08 millimeters uh, at the intake valves and 0.18 at the exhaust valves. So adjusting uh, the valves are fairly simple. Uh, just loosen that copper colored uh, nut and then uh, tighten or loosen uh, the little adjustment screw. You'll need a flat head. So take your time with this. What you want is the feeler gauge to move uh, without binding but with the sensation of it being dragged. So if it slides in too easy, it's too loose. If it gets uh, if it gets uh, caught as you pull it along, then it's too tight. Just take your time with it. It should, it should feel like it's dragging in and out. When you feel you have it just right, uh, tighten the nut and then you're done. So do the whole of the left hand side, uh, both uh, inlets and then both exhaust. Take your time and double, triple check your work. And now you move on to the right hand side. So you have to align that uh, right hand marking uh, to the top of the cylinder head. You can spin, spin the wheel forwards until uh, the line is aligned. Be sure to only move the wheel forwards. Uh, if you work it backwards, it might uh, mess with the timing chain. And then repeat the whole process on, over on the right hand side. So that's done. All of the valves are now in the correct uh, spec. So yeah, just put the rocker box cover back on. Uh, we had it painted while we were working on adjusting the valves. So you'll need to put a, a little bit of RTV sealant on that side of the gasket right here. A little smidge will do. So yeah, from this point, uh, just put everything back together. Just put them back together in the reverse order that you took them out. So yeah, that's it. A fairly simple job. Uh, something, so something fun to do if you just want to spend some alone time with the bike. Or yeah, spend a couple, a couple of hours goofing off with your friends. Nothing to take it to the shop for. And yeah, there she is with the newly painted head cover. And the well clearances in spec. So thank you all very much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We put out weekly motorcycle related content. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.